Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. A prayer for help. Lord, please help me. All the good people have gone away. No kind or faithful people remain. Everybody tells lies to one another. When they say nice things, they do it to de de deceive their friends. Lord, please cut off their tongues. When they deceive people or they boast, stop them. They say nobody can tell us what to do. We will say what we like to get what we want. But the Lord says, now I will do something. I know the tr uh, cruel things that wicked people do to poor people. When weak people cry with pain, I hear them. So I will make them safe as they want me to do for them. The Lord's promises are true. We can trust them because they are pure. They are as pure as silver that people have put in a hot fire seven times. Yes, Lord, you will take care of the poor people. You will always keep each one of them safe from all those evil people. But if people praise evil things, then wicked people will boost more and more. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. A prayer for help. Lord, will you continue to forget about me forever? 
When will you remember to come and help me? I am sad and confused all the time. How long must this continue? How much longer will my enemies continue to win against me? Lord, please listen to me. I feel that I am nearly dead. Please give me the strength to live. If I die, my enemies will say, we have won against him. My enemies will be very happy if I fall. But I will trust you because of your faithful love. Please make me safe so that I can be happy and thank you. Yes, I will sing to praise the Lord because he will surely help me. The Bible Matthew 7 part 12-20 Do for others what you would want them to do for you. This is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets. You can enter through life only through the narrow gate. The gate to hell is very wide and there is plenty of room on the road that leads there. Many people go that way, but the gate that opens the way to true life is narrow, and the road that leads there is hard to follow. Only a few people find it. Be careful of false prophets. They come to you and look gentle like sheep, but they are really dangerous like wolves. You will know these people because of what they do. Good things don't come from people who are bad, just as grabs don't come from uh, torn bushes and figs don't come from thorny weeds. In the same way, every good tree produces good fruit and bad trees produce bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Every tree that does not produce good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. You will know these false people by what they do. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle. Roman 2. Part 17 to 29 The Jews and the Law What about you? You say you are a Jew. You trust in the law and proudly claim to be close to God. You know what God wants you to do. And you know what is important because you have learned the law. You think you are a guide for people who don't know the right way, a light for those who are in the dark. You think you can show foolish people what is right, and you think you are a teacher for those who are just being to learn, beginning to learn. You have the law, and so you think you know everything and have all truth. You teach others, so why don't you teach yourself? You tell them not to steal, but you yourself steal. You say they must not commit adultery, but you yourself are guilty of that sin. You hate idols, but you steal them from their temples. You are so proud that you have God's law, but you bring shame to God by breaking this law. 
as the scriptures say people in other nation insult God because of you if you follow the law then your circumcision has meaning but if you break the law then it is as if you were never circumcised those who are not Jews are not circumcised but if they do what the law says it is as if they were circumcised you have the you have the written law and circumcision but you break the law so those who are not circumcised in their bodies but still obey the law will show that you are guilty you are not a true Jew if you are only a Jew in your physical body true circumcision is not only on the outside of the body a true Jew is only is one who is a Jew inside true circumcision is done in the heart it is done by the spirit not by the written law and anyone who is circumcised is the heart by the spirit gets praise from God not from people this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gospel, John 6, part 47 to 58. Jesus, the bread of life. It is written in scriptures, God will teach them all. People listen to the Father and learn from Him. They are the ones who come to me. I don't mean that there is anyone who has seen the Father. The only one who has seen, who has ever seen the Father is the one who come, came from God. He has seen the Father. I can assure you that anyone who believes has eternal life. I am the bread that gives life. Your ancestors ate the manna God gave them in the desert, but I di it didn't keep them from dying. Here is the bread that comes uh, down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my body. I will give my body so that the people in the world can have life. Then the Jews began to argue among themselves they said, how can this man give us his body to eat? Jesus said, believe me when I say that you must eat the body of the Son of Man and you must drink his blood. If you don't do this, you have no real life. Those who eat my body and drink my blood have eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. My body is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my body and drink my blood live in me and I live in them. The Father sent me. He lives and I live because of him. So everyone who eats me will live because of me. I am not like the bread that your 
ancestors ate. They ate the bre that bread, but they still died. I am the bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God rules the world. This is a song that David wrote for the music leader. Only fools say to themselves there is no God. People like that do bad and evil things. None of them do things that are good and right. The Lord is looking down for he from heaven. He looks at the people of the world to see if there are any wise people among them. Is there anyone who wants to know God? No. Everyone has turned away from God. They have all become evil. Not even one person does things that are right. Will those evil people never learn? They destroy my people as if they are eating a meal. They never pray to the Lord. Look at them. Now they are very afraid. They see that God is with the people who serve him. You wicked people try to bring shame to poor people so that they could not do what they wanted. But it is the Lord who keeps the poor people safe. The Lord is the one who can save Israel's people. Please, Lord, come now from your home in Zion. When the Lord makes his people strong again, Jacob descendants will be happy. Yes, Israel's people will shout with joy. Preaching A powerful prayer for hope and blessing. Father, my soul is tired and weary. I have no motivation in the morning. I need your energy. I need your strength. I need you. I want to get my life back to on track. I am tired of worrying about my problems. You tell me if I trust in you, you will take care of everything. You tell me there is infinite joy to be found. I want to find rest for my mind, heart, and soul. My life is so chaotic. I feel like I am alone. I feel like my prayers are not heard. Why are my problems so consuming, Father? Help me to fight this spiritual battle of Satan feeding me all of these lies. Push me to run to you for answers and for guidance, for safety and for strength. When I feel these annexities, I grow impatient, Lord. I don't want to make harsh decisions with my emotions. I know in my heart that your ways are perfect. Please give me my strength to wait on you. I surrender wholly to you. I know if I trust you, my path will become easier. I know my life will never be stress-free. Stress but if I let you rule my life, I will be joyful. Even in the midst, midst of challenges, I lay my burden at your feet today. I am giving you my heavy heart and desperate soul. 
Hear my prayers and bless me, Father. Let me let me be joyful in the tasks that you are asking me to do. Let my weaknesses be turned into strengths. Let my fear be turned into faith. Fill me up with your spirit of hope. With your supernatural power, I will overcome any obstacle in my path. My debts will be paid. My health will be refreshed. My future will be filled with blessings from you. For you are my almighty God. Let me raise up to you on the wings of eagles. Amen. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. How may we worship God? David wrote this song. Lord, who may stay with you in your own home? who may live there on your holy hill it is the person who does only things that are right it is the person who lives in a completely good way and who speaks only what he knows is true that person says nothing bad against other people he does nothing that will hurt his friends nor does he insult them. He does not respect wicked people, but he does respect people who serve the Lord. When he promises to do something, he always does it. He lends his money to help other people, and he does not ask for more money in return. He does not agree to receive a bribe to speak against people who have done nothing wrong. Nothing will ever upset people who live in this way. Prayers of Intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. 
we are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. 
he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of christ your son our lord amen christ is risen christ will come again amen accept through him our great high lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen if you are many break the bread and share with each other though we are many we are one body because we all share in one bread son of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us son of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in our hands were unclean our hearts were unprepared we were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table but you lord are the god of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of christ may sit and eat in your kingdom amen god's holy gifts for god's holy people jesus christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God will help me. Please keep me safe, God, because I come to you for help. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All the good things that I have in my love are gifts from you. When I think about your own people who live in this land, it makes me happy. They are truly great people. But many troubles will come to people who choose to worship other goods, gods. I will not join with them to offer gifts of blood to their gods. I will never use the names of their gods to make promises. You, Lord, are all that I need. When you give to me is enough for me and for my descendants. Yes, you have given to me a good way of life. Your gifts are better than good fields or valuable land. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.